And also, like, if you're, like, if you're Dill or just, like, a Samus, you know, how can you play a sort of, like, a keep away and handle needles as well? It's kind of going to be a battle projectiles right. from a Blazone range. Okay, so right away we see something that I think is going to be pivotal in the whole set, which is uh, Daryl down tilts Dark Atma Shield and Dark Atma Wave Dash Outcrafts. Yep. Um, so pretty much every character, I don't want to, like, categorize here, but most characters have something that they can do if they block Samus down tilt, down smash, and so on. Um, and just wave dash out grabbing, uh, if you can get away with it, is like super devastating, especially for Sheik, uh, as Sargamma just kind of dies. Uh, <laughs> yep, Daryl, I believe this is his second in-person tournament back as well. Oh, oh what has happened? I'm, oh my God. What a snipe. But and he Darryl just goes just and fumbles the bag. Hey, uh, we're playing the set here. What is going on? Uh, melee. We got all caps <laughs> lol in chat. This is definitely a, that was definitely a clip moment. But either way, I mean, <laughs> uh, what what do you think just goes through your head when you just have like a goofy death like that? Honestly, I'll tell you. I had one earlier. This <laughs> game is stupid. <laughs> I I. And another thought may be, I wish I was able to push buttons and make decisions better than I am today. As yeah. Starkatma is pulling away with this. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, there was so much nervous tension in that standoff. Yeah. You tell, wow. uh, are you insane? Uh, a little bit. Definitely insane now. So really, really fast cheek movement from Dark Atma. Uh, you saw it versus Noir, you saw it versus me. I think you probably saw it versus Zoomar, even though he lost the set. Most definitely. Jeez, yeah, it, just, it looks like Daryl just doesn't have a lot of room to breathe. Yeah. Um, like, it, it seems like every time just like, it gets into an up close situation, that just, uh, Dark, Dark Atma just has a flurry of hitboxes. All right, yeah. Uh, so that's something Like that that's something uh, I, I want to think about with this matchup. With like Sheik having a lot of moves. And mm -hmm. I like it took me a long time to come up with those words, but I feel like there's just not much else to say. Sheik has a lot of moves and Samus doesn't. Mm -hmm. When Samus wants to pressure a shield, her uh, her response is jab one, crouch, uncrouch, jab one. That's a famous Samus pressure string, right? It it just I, I bring it up because it sort of emphasizes what is different about these characters in their ground game. Uh, I remember hearing people when uh, when Plup switched to, to Sheik in 2015 uh, going, Plup can make Sheik work because Samus is a fundamental character also. And I went, oh, I didn't know that Samus was a fundamental character, but I hadn't been playing very long, so I didn't... I didn't know any better, but that that checks out to me. Just looking at this, it seems like Sheik can do better the things that Samus can do, and has not a lot of overlap. Well, not a lot other than the overlap, right? Oh, one but part, one one hundred percent. I mean, like it's like it, it seems like Samus, like it, you know, maybe like quote unquote linear, if that makes sense. Like quote unquote linear to where like it seems like that anything she can do, like Samus can do somewhat better. Is what you're Other saying. Way. What? Is, you're saying that like she can do like everything like Samus can do. That like Samus can do better is what you're saying. But she, yeah, but she does them. She has Samus's skill set. Yes. But it's better realized in she. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we can talk about why, but uh, we can talk about also the buttons the people are hitting. Oh yeah. <laughs> on a bit of a tangent there, but either way, like I, I tangent. It's, I mean, you know, sometimes, fun. sometimes you just gotta have a good tangent. But either way, I mean, you know, he's like Dark Emma, like he's been firmly in control. Oh, like, oh, 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 those like, are terrifying. Like, like Daryl would get pressure, but it just seems like Dark Emma is just well prepared a lot of times. Yeah. He's prepared to deal with it, but here we go, Daryl with an edge guard. Forward smash, rinse and repeat, here we go. Well prepared is a good descriptor, I think. Uh, that that notion of, I've played every matchup that is relevant to me 500 times. Oh. That'll just kill. Uh, something that people sleep on, 
when they're thinking about Sheik is, you know, she can just kind of press B. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> B moves. No, when they're, when they're thinking about Samus, sorry, I, I started on the wrong character. But when they're thinking about Samus, people are like, oh, charge shot is a move uh, where you sit and charge it, and then you have it, and you can use it. Mm -hmm. What is actually happening is you sit and build power, but you can use it at any time. And <laughs> sometimes people forget about that, and that's what I we mean, saw in that edge. I mean, I think, if anything, with great power comes great responsibility, and that's what the charge shot is. Oh, you saw No Way Home, didn't you? <laughs> I actually have not yet. I just That is a quote from just, like, any Spider-Man movie. Like, a lot of Spider-Man movies have had that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not just No Way Home. But I've heard great things about that movie, and I definitely should see it soon. All right. I no mean, spoilers they're not there. sponsoring us. We don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl looking to get this stock, but Dark Emma increasingly just a little bit. Ford Smith's going to do it. I didn't spoil anything, did I? No, right? I didn't talk about plot at all. Oh my god, it's so scary! You almost got him. Four air. Okay, this could be hard. The event is in a church in Concord, California. Okay, okay. And that's not going to do it. Clings to the stage. Wow, what uh -oh. a down air. What a down air. Oh, uh -oh. my goodness. Are you worried? I'm worried. Uh, it takes one good hit into charge shot. Question is, why does he let it rip? I mean, that's always the question. Do Double needle. Play? He has no tether? Wow. I swear he had a tether. I thought so, too. I, mean, he, I guess he just didn't land. That was the main thing. He did not land, and... Dark Emma just kind of, he, he exercised every one of Daryl's options, leading him to winning that game. Yeah. Going back, I mean, prob probably the best bet, don't you think? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, just being able to make Sheik's grab confirms that much less lethal when, you know, you're Samus. Edge Garden doesn't happen very often. Okay, uh, just kind of paces around Daryl, relatable. I mean, you see also, like, uh, when he gets to, like, a stage like this, I mean, and in general, this matchup, it's a lot more about chip damage. Like, getting chip damage, like, you don't get, like, sort of that hit that's going to lead to, like, a death. I mean, the close, the equivalent right. you can get to that is maybe, like, some move into a charge shot. Right, yeah, that's that's kind of the melee that we're, we're dealing with here, like, in this and then in Grand's, irrespective of configuration, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh... I can, hard, I can hardly wait to talk about ports. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. And uh, Daryl SD is at zero. Well, um, I do want to say this before Daryl goes off the stream. Uh, every single set Daryl won today, dating back to like the first round of the tournament, was the maximum number of games. All of his wins. Oh my goodness. He went game three against his round one. He went game three against Nuggets. He went game three against me. He <laughs> went game five against Kevin. Uh, talk about talk about an endurance run. He he gets it. He figures you out. That like, I feel like where Umar and Dar and Darkatma have succeeded against Daryl is like, they've been fundamentally good enough to kind of just snuff him out. Mm -hmm. But like, where me and Nuggets and the other person. Oh, what attack! Uh, failed was we we couldn't manage that mm -hmm. for one reason or another we couldn't clean him up in the two games and we gave him that time to work out this is where I need to be to cover this person's stuff do you think there's a bit of a fatigue factor as well once you play like that I many sets for that, that for that extensive period of time yeah you're right like with you played so many a, a crazy amount of games you know yeah. which can be good because you know you're kind of well versed in those sort of tight situations but, I mean, that's, like, that's really taxing to be just being that sort of intensive of a state. Do you think that plays in at all? 
I, yeah, maybe. Um, especially because you're Samus, like, and because your style is that based on adaptation. If you are an adaptive player, and I would say that Daryl is, you can't autopilot. That is just not how you work. Mm -hmm. And so you'd never get a break from learning your opponent. Whereas if you're, if you can like, if you can just do a few moves and, and beat your round one, you know, then you can sort of save your energy a bit. Mm -hmm. Daryl's a great competitor though. Oh, uh, definitely. I'm not worried about his endurance uh, in competition. But uh, yeah, I think that could happen. Let's see. Trying to eke his bracket run a little him. bit. All right, so he's got a little bit of a chance of life, but about can't take too many hits. All right, don't get fared even once. Ooh. And this that could should be it. It, it is. Dark Atma has beaten Daryl 3-0 and sets up a rematch of winner semis in Grand Final.